Guess what? It's Thursday. Look who's here. It's me and it's Paula. And we hope that you all had a great Thanksgiving. Today we're going to be bottling the Island Mist wine that we made a couple weeks ago. Actually, more than a couple weeks ago. Uh, but it's now ready to bottle. So I'm going to set you guys down and we'll start the process. Now, I've never done this before. So if you've never done this before, don't worry. You're not alone. We have our fearless leader, Paula. And she is going to show us how to do this. Fearless. Take it away, Vanna okay, White. Well, before we start, <laughs> the, the, oh, re yeah, the reason that sure. you can get me out of my office. The reason. Okay, today we are drinking a Scottish ale. We're yeah, drinking we're beer to uh, bottle wine. Because there are no rules. That's right. Or if there aren't, we make them. It smells fantastic. But yes. is this typically the color of beer you drink? No. This is typically darker, although I have tried porters before, and I like them. Okay, Paula just must be magical because everything that I'm like expecting to not actually like, I like. No, this is amazing. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is this homebrewed? This one is homebrewed, but we did not brew it. Okay, because yeah. I just I saw the bottle. Like, yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna give you yucky things. Yeah, no, I know. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. It's been, it's been what, like, we've we've been doing this for a minute now. It, it, yeah. Shout out to all of our like loyal viewers. Thanks Absolutely. for watching. Absolutely. We I saw a few comments um, saying that this was the best part of your week, and, and it, yeah, That's did you know this? It's one of the best parts of mine. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's talk about bottling wine. So first off bottles important um traditional bottles are going to be either your clear 750 bordeaux claret bottle or your green 750 claret bordeaux bottle and notice um when i say clar claret bordeaux bottle it's just the shape it's got this kind of neck it's got this kind of shape we also have a hawk bottle in here now doesn't look like a bird to me Hawk. <laughs> Not a hawk. Um, but I think the hawk bottles are like a little bit sexier. See, they have like kind of a, a curve to them where this is a little more squared off. These are all three 750 milliliters. I also have um, some beautiful uh, 375. So really, this is a half a bottle of, of wine. Uh, Homebrew Kev asked, can you explain the difference in corks? We'll get there, right? Absolutely, we're going to, because we're going to use my favorite cork today. Um, so look at that one. This is a frosted. So this isn't, this isn't, it's um. It's a frosted 375 Hawk. Yeah, so you can't mm -hmm. see through it all the way, but you can through, see through it a little bit. But look at this gorgeous color. Oh, yeah, this, I think this is my favorite. Absolutely. So blue. Now. We chose these particular bottles only because they um, were not paired in the warehouse. And so I was able to pull them um, and get a variety, which is really lucky. Now we do sell variety packs. I think you're gonna see like an elite variety pack, a nature variety pack where you get um, three different colors. You get four of each of three different colors and those are on our website. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but we also have like a Christmassy type we do have, pack. I think we have like five. Yeah, so they're red and green ones, so... Mm -hmm. I think red, green, and frosted mm -hmm. on that one. I believe so, And yeah. I don't have any of the red because the red weren't mispaired, and they're a little more expensive, so I wasn't going to just grab them out of the warehouse, but they're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I will also tell you one of my tricks is I, I do almost all of my wine in 750s, but when I get to, down toward the end to ensure I don't have sediment in my bottle and I have a few that I can give away without being heartbroken, I do 375s. So I'm only giving away half a bottle. <laughs> and every now and then I only want to drink half a bottle. I know that's shocking. Um, so these are all cork finished. We have, we do have some that are screw top, I maybe mean, a 28 millimeter screw top finish, but we're not going to do any of that today because we're going to also talk about corkers. So what I'm going to use to bottle, I am going to come over here into my sanitizer and I have an auto siphon. It's an outer tube an anti-sediment end, an inner tube, which looks like a racking cane. And I'm putting that together. I'm taking my sanitized siphon hose tubing. Now notice, it looks like it does not fit. 
because it's going to be super tight. I want it to be super tight or I'm never going to get a prime. Okay, so the struggle is real, but it's worth it. <laughs> So some behind the scenes knowledge, I came with a big old tube because I, I didn't think that they fit together. So it really doesn't look like they fit together. No, it doesn't, but that's exactly how it's going <laughs> And then to Paula work. was like, nope, not like, that ah, one. <laughs> that's not it. Okay, so we're gonna pop off the uh, airlock in the bong. No longer necessary. And I'm going to just insert the auto siphon with the anti-sediment tip on it. And now I'm going to find a combination bottle filler. You don't really show what yep. looks like. Now, the combination bottle like filler comes in two sizes. So if you're using a half inch siphon, you need a half inch bottle filler. If you're doing a 5 16th, you need a 5 16th or 3 eighths. So someone asked, do you use metabisulfite when bottling? That, so not when bottling. Well, right? No, what we're we're just bottling a uh, an island mist, so there really isn't a whole lot of need for a preservative there. Um, typically, we, that would be done, and it's in the directions if you're going to do um, do that for a preservative. But we're not going to because um, we're bottling a fairly unsophisticated kind of wine cooler ish thing, and we're not going to have any any. Um, Maturation needed. We're not going to store it for a long period of time. We're just going to drink it. What? Oh, maturation. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just mature. Getting, 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 getting sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Like us. Yeah. <laughs> like us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the trick is going to be to create this prime. You want your carboy higher than the bottles that you're bottling. And you have to have this pushed in, this little spring tip, so that you have an open system when you do two pushes of your auto siphon to create the, the flow. Okay? Do you want to grab this and we'll put it on the... Yeah. Because that's why I had to bring this right here. Gotcha. Okay, we'll start with just one of these, the clear, so you can see I'm it. I'm going to put it right okay. here. And we're going that's to it. push this in. Actually, I might be able to set it up here and do Ooh. it like that. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, now it's just two pumps of this. Okay. You want to pump that two times? Yeah. So. You don't even need to get that excited. Two. Two little pumps and you're talking about, boom. Yeah. Cool. And are you just pressing that down on I'm the I'm just bottom? pressing it down. If I let it up, it'll stop. That's why I love this. It's cheap, but it's that combination bottle filler that makes it so much easier. It also displaces about the exact amount of wine you want displaced to accommodate the cork. Is life good or what? Life's good. So you're going to go to the top. And, okay. Okay. Then I'm going to like this and it's displaced. Oh, and then you put the second bottle there so you can just. Yeah. And the nice thing is. So if I put this. Um, you can just let it go. Just it's on got the an anti-sediment tip. It's going to pull it out of the sediment. Yeah, which means that really you could, one person can do this. Now it's more fun with other people, with multiple people. Yeah. But it makes it where you're not splashing your wine around. You're not going from bottle to bottle. You're not losing anything. It's pretty fast too. I mean, we already have almost two bottles done. It's, that's not bad at all. Yep, so you just Here, go right to the top. Here. And then boom, I'm on to the next one. So, so pretty. it's pretty quick. It's very easy, and you don't have a lot of mess, even for me. And this was the combination bottle filler. That's correct. And you can find that online on our website, mm -hmm. homebrewohio.com. Got that. And all these bottles and everything, of course, as well. So to those of you that are just tuning in, today we are bottling our Island Mist wine that we made a few lives back. Uh, we're using a combination bottle filler, some tubing, an auto siphon with this nifty little cap on the bottom here that prevents any sediment from coming in here. Let me see if I can get a better angle. So that's just resting directly on the bottom there, which is really awesome because otherwise, as Paula was talking about, it kind of takes two people almost. Yeah, you're gonna have somebody holding it or um, if you're just using some way to crimp the hose and not this bottle filler, 
then you're kind of splashing it around a little yeah. bit. You don't really want to do that because you don't want to aerate um, the wine at this point. You just want to get it in there. So we'll do six of them and then we'll work on um, some corks, corking, corkers, all the fun things. Now, the, the bottle filler can be used for any beverage, too, like beer and 100%. stuff like that, too. Yeah, absolutely. It's very universal. So. Um, we also use, when we were sanitizing, we used the fast rack trays, which yeah. are fantastic like for that. holding up the bottles and letting them drain. Fun fact, this bottom piece goes on the bottom to prevent any spillage. Hmm, why is that a fun <laughs> fact? Hmm. It's a fun fact because I didn't know and I was leaking water everywhere. I but walked, I walked out I'll have like, you know you though. <laughs> I'll have you know though, Paula, I cleaned up a giant wine kit from the floor today, so I've done my penance. You did. <laughs> and, but yeah, by the way, don't drop a wine kit from the top shelf of a pallet racking. <laughs> Note to sell. <laughs> I can do it though. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna stop after this one and we'll uh, go on to the next. Do you want me to do a three seventy five? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. It's just kind of satisfying, you know? It is. It goes quickly, especially um, you get someone else and they're grabbing it and they're corking it, and you can have everything done at the same time. It's kind of crazy, too, because if you bought one wine kit, like one five-gallon wine kit, you could give so many Christmas gifts of bottles of wine to people. I mean, that's like 30 bottles, right? Mm -hmm. It is. I usually get about 28 because I'm a little bit hesitant to get into the the sediment in the bottom, um, but 28 bottles of wine, that's a lot of, a lot of wine. And if you do the, the 375s, you're gonna have more than that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so your, fr your friends will never know you're being a little stingy. <laughs> on your you on your wine, what's stingy about that? On your half bottles. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I'm just messing, I'd be happy. Me too. I'm gonna get a wine bottle, leave it out, we're gonna- Just set it yeah, in we'll there? Yeah, set it in there. Okay. The color of this wine is really pretty, I think. Oh, it is. It's like a golden. Now, which wine is this? So this is the peach raspberry lemonade. So we have the labels here. So we'll put those on eventually too. It'll be really pretty. And then like Paula said, we're gonna be talking about corks and corkers. So if you're just tuning in, um, stick around and we will go through all the different corkers that we have and Paula's favorite type of cork. She'll tell you why. <laughs> it's good to have favorites. Okay. And, and boom. Okay. Let me put that in here. Just a sec. Okay. So then I'll set you back. Kind of wedge that in there. Yeah. Oh, maybe. It's a little tippy. Someone says, do we use anything to clarify it? So yeah, so throughout the um, clearing, there's a whole clearing process. Um, we used a couple of different things. Let me see, I gotta look at the instructions. I think this was a, uh, what can I say? Kytosin? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we used kytosin in this one. Um, and then after five days, we twisted the carboy to drop the sediment down to the bottom. Um, yeah. So that's what you use to clear it. And different wine kits, I think we'll have a couple of different. Um, yeah, I mean, typically you're gonna see uh, kind of the icing glass. Um, and then uh, I think this one actually maybe had a two part. Yeah, I was gonna say, is Kisa Soul? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly right. It was a two part clarifying situation with bentonite um, in, in the beginning stages so that it had, it had particles to pull down. Yeah. Okay, um, corks. Corks. These are the guys we're gonna use today. Um, this is the Noma cork. It might be a little bit overkill for what we're doing. The Noma cork is a uh, equivalent to a number nine cork, so you're going to need a nice uh, floor corker to use them. They are not a composite cork, they are a synthetic cork, so you can um, store longer, you can have um, you can have assurance that you're going to have a less likely to have oxygen get into your wine. Um, we do carry the number eight corks, the number nine corks. So it's eight by one and a half, eight by one and three quarter. Those are all composite. Nine by one and a half, nine by one and three quarter. Those are composite. We have these, um, the Noma corks. So that's what we're going to use today. Um, let me tell you that we're going to use the Portuguese floor corker first. Um, the 
if you're in our area, we rent a floor corker just like this. In fact, probably this one. Oh, that's cool. I didn't for know that. For five bucks. Okay, cool. For five dollars? For five bucks. Take it home for 24 hours. For five dollars, yeah. this could be yours to rent. Yes. Look at that. Because the thing is, it, no, should, it should be easy. Yeah. You know? Now, if you love it, which I do, this floor corker is $69.99 on the website. We'll ship it right to you. But it's a beautiful thing because look at this. It's spring loaded. So you can control, you know, the size of the bottle. Then this is a compression. So it compresses. You put that in there. It compresses it while it pushes it down. This is what pushes it down. And you notice this? This allows it to be um, adjusted further down, further up. So it's fantastic. This is probably the most economical and easiest corker to own. Okay, so let's grab one of these guys. What was this one called? Portuguese Floor Corker. Portuguese Floor Corker. Yep, and notice this, it locks in. It locks yeah. in, it's not going anywhere. So you're not gonna like accidentally knock it over. No, cause that'd be a hot mess. All right, then we're gonna take this and all we do is I'm afraid I'm gonna knock these all out and push it down. And boom. Now this Done. this is up a little bit. So what I can do is I can adjust it and we'll see what the next one brings. So gotcha. super easy. Super, super easy. Um, my favorite and the least expensive of the floor corkers. Now I also have a floor corker, an Italian floor corker. I don't have one out here. Um, the Italian floor corker, this part is is uh, metal inside and this is a longer handle so you have a lot more cork uh flexibility a little paper out here that one is what yeah. one let's see okay that one is 159.99 but unless you're going to do a, a lot a lot a lot of bottles i would not spend the 159.99 i would do the 69.99 and be super happy then we also, just as a side note, have a champagne floor corker as well, uh, because you know the whole champagne corks are very different. That runs one forty nine ninety nine, and I don't have it out here because we're not doing champagne. Now, <laughs> this is like the opposite. <laughs> it is. It is. We are not doing champagne. Um, but we also have hand corkers. Now let me grab my favorite hand corker. My Do you favorite? guys see all of our wine kits here? We have a lot, so oh my gosh. buy them. <laughs> yeah. So this is my favorite wine hand corker. It's a Portuguese, so they're both Portuguese. Um, this one, the cork just goes down in here, so it holds it, which is nice. Um, typically, though, if I'm going to use a hand corker, I'm going to use a number eight. Okay, you're going to want a little bit smaller cork because you don't have the torque here that you would have in this big mechanism. Make sense? Um, and I'm not sure I can get a number eight in because I'm a little bit of a weakling, but I mean a number nine in. So this sits on here nicely and you notice this, now it holds it for you, mm -hmm. which is, is very nice, which is probably why yeah, it's my very favorite. Yeah, let's put that away. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm dangerous. And I may or may not be able to get this in. I believe in you. Oh gosh, there's no pressure there. Number eight goes in so much easier. There we go. Hey. And can I get it out? I don't know. Oh. You got it? Uh, no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> did I get it all the way in? I did. I did. Let's see what's happening here. Boom. Yeah. it's The smoothest it's just... product demonstration you've ever seen. Oh, for sure. Now everybody's going to bump that one. Um, this happened because it's a number nine. Yeah. It should be So if you're eight. using a number eight, it would be easier. It would be, it would be fine. And you probably wouldn't look like me. <laughs> All right. So this one, $21.99. But the advantage of this one is obviously it takes less room to store. So if right, because this compared to this. Like if you're like me, you live in a condo, right. you can stick this in the top of a shelf or something. Yeah. Where's kind of this? Thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You could always put this like in the corner as like modern art or something. Oh, for sure. I think, I think it'd be good. For sure. It's red, so you could use it as a Christmas decoration. All year round. <laughs> All year round. All right. So we also have the Gilda. This one's kind of cool because it's only one lever. So it's a single lever. Okay. You see that? So it's like that. Yeah. It's it's cool. The, huh. the Gilda is $33.99. Um, it's an Italian corker. Hmm. It's plastic. It looks pretty small too. So you could store this exactly. one too. And you would use a number eight for that. Number eight for that. Okay. Yeah. Now this one is called the Easy Double Lever. 
You see it's it's made a little bit differently than the Portuguese. It still holds the the, the, cork, the cork inside there. there. You've got your mechanism. Okay, this one is uh, $32.99. It's heavy though. Yeah. It's heavy. You can, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier. Yeah. So for those of you that are just joining, we're kind of going through the different corkers that we have. We have some wine that we've bottled here and we're corking it. And Paul is talking about the different types of corks you use and the different types of corks or corkers depending on your budget and storage space. Yes. And this one's by Ferrari. It's an Italian double lever corker. Um, Ferrari is a fantastic company. And this one is $26.99, so it's a little less expensive. And then finally, this guy, which I would never recommend, but I wouldn't want to leave him out. And this is the plastic plunger. It's $11.99, and it's probably a lesson in frustration. So, yeah, so why wouldn't you <laughs> recommend it? It just doesn't um, work very well. Well, because it's, it's, you get what you pay for in this case. Fair. Yeah. So someone commented, uh, and we appreciate this, if you remove the legs on the floor corker, it fits nice in the back of any closet. So. Uh, and you know what? It, it's, that is, it's just in there for a little, um, like a wing nut. Yeah. All that holds it. So you could just, you know, take yep. this off and put it in the back. So it's not anything crazy big. Like, I mean, you can kind of see it's like compared to Paula. That's what it's like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Compared to me. But, since um, I know how tall I am. <laughs> <laughs> drink your beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll drink my beer. I will always follow that direction. But yeah. Now, let's take this guy here. And... We have labels that came with Ooh, this yeah. gorgeous Okay, I'm going to set this Where's down. The, where are the labels? You, you be the labeler. Okay, I'll turn you guys around just a sec here. Uh, put it right there. Okay, so the labels look like this. So it's peach wire, it's very well made. These are just stickers, right? Yep. Take one of these bad boys. Ah, this is what just happened. Oopsie. <laughs> and oh no, boring bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Ooh ah, that's a cool bottle of wine. That's about to get better. It's <laughs> about to get better because we're going to choose a PVC shrink capsule. Now, what color do you want to choose for this? Um, let's see. You have so we have a couple different color options. Purple. We have way more color options than we, what we have here. And they don't even all have the grapes on them. So uh, you chose all the ones with grapes. Yeah, I just okay, grabbed what I could cool. find. I think the, I think you the, think the gold, gold and black. So gold with black that. grapes. Yeah. yeah. So, so what so what this is, is it's a little cap that sits on the top of it. And you just, you know, it's like that. So it makes it look fancier. But you don't just leave it there. We have a tool that we're gonna. So and it also has um, these have the pull tab. So you just pull this off. That way, when you're uncorking it, which is the most important part of the the wine, because you can drink it then, um, it just pulls right off. So there's these come in uh, 30s, 100s, 500s, 8000s, 10000s, 8000 s <laughs> So if you're making 8000 bottles of wine, we are that? your place. Yes. <laughs> okay. So on these, I've heard people use a hair dryer. You'd have to have a super hot hair dryer. Um, I also know that people will, will take a boiling water and there's a tool that we have that'll hold it on and you just dunk it right in the boiling water and it shrinks it right up. We are lucky enough to have a thermal capsuler, which is just made for PVC shrinking. Um, my son normally does this part, so we'll see if we can mess it up or we can do it right. Let's see. <laughs> Let's burn some plastic. Let's do it. Let's, all right. Okay, so the thermal capsuler looks like this. Here, we, I'll let you grab it. So it's like this thing. It's this contraption. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it just plugs in and then you turn it on. All right, we are on because the green light is on. Okay, right. and then I'll give you that. All right, here we go. Yep, we'll see if I can do on. this right. The green light is on. Now, I will tell you, it gets very hot. Yeah, I mean, we just plugged it in, so and it's, if you can feel that it's already hot, yes, I'm worried. I can. I'm worried. Are you? I, well, I haven't <laughs> you on fire yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, here we go. Get this on here. Oh, 
I feel like it's like a is this bad as like a CAT scan machine for uh kind of yeah. or like a MRI MRI machine for the wine bottle. There we go. Now I know that the longer you have it on, the hotter it gets. I don't know. You, normally you just would put it in, but we didn't have it had it on yet. Just make sure I don't set anything on fire. Oh, I got it too hot, didn't I? Uh, yeah, a little, a bit. little bit. I got a little bit too hot. So yeah, but then it you know wraps the top of your bottle. It sure does. It makes it look way fancier because. Yeah. That looks like you bought it. That looks good. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it looks really good. Do you want, are we going to do this one yeah, too? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Want to do a different color? Here, wait, yeah. All right. Wait, I just want to show you guys something. Where my labels go? You want to grab me one of my labels? Yeah, there you go. Here, sorry. I'm going to do um, this cool burgundy color. Because I like it. Because you like it. Because I like it. It's about like that. So... This isn't perfect, but like, I just want to show you something. So like, you can really see how professional it makes it look. Cause I mean like on the left, it's not bad. It's cool, right? But look at how good that looks compared to the one on the left. Yeah. All right, you have the PVC. I do. All right, we'll see. Now, now oh, it is seriously hot now. All right. Campfire. Ooh. We should have got some marshmallows and Ooh. graham crackers. I put it in too slow. I, bu I put it in too slow. Then what happens? Look at See the top of it. Yeah. Well, not to mention that the thing is sticking out. Yeah. All right. You know what? We didn't know this was going to be comedy hour in addition. <laughs> but the cool thing is, I'm just going to peel it off. off and we'll, we can and try, then it, try it again. Yeah. I don't think it's going to get better, though, with this. What happens if you do it over the top of it? Over the top of this? Yeah. It I just wouldn't be good. Off cracky or something yeah yeah that probably wouldn't yeah. be great actually i think uh we'll redo this when we fix the cork how's that oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. the cork's a little messed up yeah <laughs> yeah we're gonna use the uh floor corker for it and the cork and get that in right so i think that's that's bottling wine cool so does anyone have there's still a few of you left on here watching uh, thank you for watching. Do any of you have any questions that we can answer before we go? Meanwhile, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna turn sip this my beer like heater off. Mm. I don't know. Now, I, now I have to figure out the next thing I'm gonna have you try to, to drink. Yeah. If you have any suggestions of what I should drink next, leave it in the comments. That could be interesting. And then Paula can bring it for me. Ironically, I'm still get bringing things from home. Yeah. I haven't had to go foraging yet. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one wine, um, if you guys haven't seen it, there's a, there's a Fiero wine kit. Mm. Um, I think you went to a wine store for that one. I did have to go to a wine one. store for that one. Um, but yeah, other than that, she's been very generous in letting me share in her beverages from her own personal home. So thanks, Paula. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, all right. Well, I think uh, if no one has any questions, I think we're going to head out. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your week. Um, I don't know what we're doing next week yet. Tune in. Tune in. Bye.